Okay, so this is one of the, the things that we take pride in what we do here. Um, a lot of machine shops will just hone it, bore it, hone it, all that. So I'm gonna go in and show you guys right now. This is without a deck plate on it. And I'll explain what a deck plate is, but as you can see, there's about six, seven thousandths. Zero would be 20 over, so it is pretty dang straight. If you guys notice that, it's pretty straight. The problem is, is it's straight right now, not assembled. We need to simulate this thing being assembled and torqued and everything distorted the way it is, and we want it to be straight then. So I'm gonna go in here, we're gonna deck plate it, put our studs on, torque it down, and then I'm gonna show you how distorted it is before we hone it. Just basically your head cut out to where we can still hone the block. Okay, okay guys, so now we're back, we've got our deck plate installed, it's torqued to the proper torque specs. Now it, it's actually distorted like it would be in the truck. So if we just left it like that, we're gonna have some uh, irregularity, irregularity. So back in the same hole, up here at the top, we were almost seven thousandths and we're all the way down to just over five. So what this does for us is now, is we're simulating the head and everything bolted together like it would be before it runs. So now we're gonna go in and hone the cylinders and make them straight. And then once we take everything off and disassemble it, it'll be crooked or it'll be distorted anyway. And then we can bolt it back together with the new head and everything, the pistons in it, and, uh, and all the machine work will be straight again. He's told it to take out 3,000 is what he's told it to take out. We have six, roughly 6,000 that we can take out. This has been bored over there on our big F79. You guys saw that, but we only took it to about 15,000. So we left 5,000 roughly to take out so that we can get the base material with the hone. We, we can't go straight to 20,000. We've got to go in increments so that the, the hone can actually get the base metal back down there. Get it so that it's nice and straight. We can get the base metal with the hone. Kind of showing what the, the cylinder wall looks like.